to the membership page, there's exam templates. So it'll be like form two, then it'll have like kind of starting questions. And then you can just go back through what you've covered um, that term and add in specifically some questions that have to do with the things that you guys really talked about, um, some books that you really liked, those kind of things. And then it really helps me to print out the exams because <laughs> once I print them out, then I'm like, oh, no, we're going to do that this week. Here's your exam <laughs> because it's all um, typed up. So I can just use those template questions. I'll include some math problems. I'll include like a line for them to copy. And all this is in the teacher's book in the back and have them recite their poems, those kind of things. But the key, I really feel like two exams, if you've never done them before, start small. You don't necessarily have to give them a question on every subject and everything that you've talked about. So, oh yeah, here we go. So here's an example exam template for form three. So Bible, you're gonna have three questions for this age. Well, maybe if it's their first one, you only do one question, right? Eight lines of poetry from memory. Maybe you only start with four. I mean, you can gradually move them into the things that you want to see out of them on there, but yeah. So it gives you very specifically what you should have for each kind of subject in your exam, but then on the membership page, those templates really, really help. Like these exams are really great practice for something they will use. Like we're like, are we preparing them for college? I don't, I'm not sure, right? They will be using these skills for the rest of their lives. Um, and these exam questions do help kind of bring up things that they've already learned, um, helps it go back into their long-term memory even more than it already was from narrating it the first time. Um, it does help them kind of make connections between the different subjects. It really is for them in their uh, memory to remember these different things that they've been learning. So it doesn't have to be this high pressure like, oh, did they get the answer right? Did they give me enough facts about the French Revolution so that I know that they really understood what the French Revolution was all about, you know? But it's more for them, a chance for them to show what they learned. So my kids think exam week is awesome because they love to tell people what they know about everything. So it's just a chance for them to talk about all the stuff that they've learned. Um, you know, I've seen on uh, Instagram, someone had like a big piece of paper and Shay Kemp, who leads the Facebook group, and she's awesome. But one of the things she does, I got this idea from her actually, for exams for her younger kids is she takes a big piece of butcher paper and um, covers the table with that. And then has like starts talking to them about all the different things that they're they've been learning and they start writing down stuff and she starts writing down stuff and they start drawing pictures of things. And then she has this big, big piece of paper that she just rolls up and keeps. Like that's super simple, right? Like you don't have to come up with a bunch of questions. You don't have to like type things out for your child. Um, you know, especially when they're young, right? You know, and have a fun snack and just enjoy and celebrate that you guys have learned everything. That's my big thing with the exam. This is why I love them so much is it gives me a chance to like, celebrate the things that um, we have learned and um, you know don't get down on yourself if the first time you do them you're like eh, that answer was just really vague I don't think they really understood whatever you know um, as they grow older and as they become used to reading these kind of living books their exam questions will improve so don't get discouraged or you might be like you know what I don't think we did a really good job of doing um, map drills so I need to do a better job of reviewing the um, provinces of Canada if I want to give them a blank map of Canada on the exam and have them know. We really didn't review as much as we should, right? Not review like for a test, but like we're continually doing it consistently every week. Yeah.